talking somewhere different. I'm talking in my 1974 Chevy K20. It's usually in my vlogs, you can see. I'll be at a park, sitting on a bench, enjoying nature. Now I'm inside my truck. I try to mix it up, try something different. Got a pimple here. Could be, I like this girl. I found out she ghosted me and matched me. So there you go, this is the pimple. Now I'm wearing this polyester shirt my friend gave me, either on my birthday or Christmas. It says, yo. Yeah two tennis rackets and a tennis ball. I used to be a tennis coach for a year at Academy in Palo Alto. So thank you, Kirby, for giving me this gift. I'm uh, going with today's vlog. I got catfish. I picked up a girl at her apartment. I see her face. She's not who she was on her online dating pictures on Hinge. Those pictures look older, maybe more than a one year old. I could have been a jerk and said, you don't look who you are on your Hinge profile. I'm done. But I drove an hour just to go get her. It's an hour away from home. So I pick her up, started the date. We ate and drank, we talked. And when we were done, dropped her off. No kiss, nothing. Just dropped her off and that was it. So that's the first and last I saw her. And this is the quickest and shortest date I've been on too. So no regrets. Cause imagine if I did get catfish, building a relationship, never seen her and it's been more than a year. Then I go see her five years later and then she's not who she thinks she is. And that's a big regret. And it happens when you're in online dating. You're taking a risk. You could get catfish, like what happened to me, kind of catfish. You see the picture, you hear their voice memes, you see what they type, their quotes, their prompts, what they answer. And then you finally meet them for the first time, and it's different. And I do get matches, and they're really hot pictures and it's so quick and they ask what's your contact what's your number i'm not here on this online dating profile a lot you want to go on whatsapp it's another app another way to communicate and talk to each other another messenger app they plant a seed and they teach me more about investing now you're comfortable with them and from there then they would ask for my personal information things just get sketchy and fishy i would just block them and then i googled and researched more about it there's people out there that scammers or fakers it's the online dating world we live in an imperfect world you are taking a risk online dating is not going to stop me i still going to be on it one day i'll find that someone maybe not through online dating maybe through mutual friends or wherever i go who knows can't force the issue, can't force relationships. Relationships come unexpectedly. All I gotta do is just let it be and see how it goes from there. All right, that's a wrap. Subscribe, comment, like, and share. If you dare, please care. Be aware. Just trying to rhyme.